Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will be demonstrating how to work the Pico bind off method. This is a really lovely way to finish off your work as it results in a pretty little row of bumps that travel along your bind off. So it's a great way to finish off things like shawl projects. Something to be mindful of about this technique is that it does use more yarn than other methods. So you need to make sure you have plenty left over before you start this technique. There's a couple of different ways that you can work this method because depending on how many stitches you cast off between each pico, you can have very closely spaced picots or more set apart. I'm going to show you the way that I do it usually, which is where they're quite close to each other. So your written instructions for this technique will generally read something like the following. Cast on two stitches using knitted cast on method. Knit one. Knit one, then pass the first work stitch over the last. Do this three more times to bind off four stitches in total. And then slip the stitch on right hand needle back to left hand needle and repeat until all stitches have been bound off. So we'll see what that looks like. The first thing I need to do is cast on two stitches. And to do this using the knitted cast on method, I simply knit into my first stitch but don't slip the work stitch from the left hand needle. Take this new loop that's on the right hand needle and place it on the left hand needle like so. And that's created a new stitch. That's cast on one stitch. I need to cast on two. So I repeat that again. So I knit into the first stitch, which is actually now the stitch that we just cast on. So knit into it, but don't slip it from the left hand needle put this loop that's on the right hand needle onto the left hand needle and then we've cast on two stitches. Now my instructions say to knit one stitch. So now we do what we were doing but we do actually knit it so we slip that stitch from the left hand needle. Now the instructions say to knit one so we're doing that again and then it says to pass the last work, or the, sorry, the first work stitch on the right hand needle over the last work stitch. So we pull it up and over that stitch. We do this three more times to bind off four stitches in total. So knit the first stitch and pass the first work stitch over the last work stitch. And then we've bound off two stitches. Knit one. Pass the first work stitch over the last stitch. That's three, so one more. Knit one and pass the first work stitch over the last. And that has created a pico. By casting on stitches and then binding them off, you create sort of like a little knot or bobble, and that's our pico right there. So to continue to repeat, I've got this stitch on my right hand needle and I slip it back. To the left hand needle and then we begin from the cast on. So cast on two stitches using the knitted cast on method. So as if I'm knitting it but put that loop on the left hand needle. That's one and that's two. Now knit one, knit one and pass the first work stitch over the last so bring it up and over knit one pass the first work stitch over the last the third time knit one and pass the last work stitch sorry first work stitch over the last and fourth time pass the first work stitch over the last and then slip this stitch back to the left hand needle. And there's two picots. So you'll see that they're quite close together. If I had bound off more stitches, the picot would be spaced a little further along. So that's another option for working this method as well. So we just keep continuing to repeat those steps. You cast on two stitches, one, two, and bind off four stitches one, two, three, 
three and four and you just continue to do that all the way along your work until you get to the very last stitch and you pull that stitch nice and wide pull your working yarn through it and tighten off to secure and that's the Pico bind off method thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please feel free to subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or comments do leave them below